At 9 a.m. on March 2, 2019, under the promotion of New South Wales Government, the Fifth China Fund Carnival, jointly organised by the Burwood Government and Australian Culture and Commerce Association, kicked off in Burwood Park. On that day, the park was full of lights and joy, and more than a hundred merchants were busy to meet the people of the new year. When you walked into the park, you will see a large lantern arch. A pair of young brand singers under the arch are performing Chinese and Australian music, attracting countless audiences. Businesses in business districts have shown their brilliance, and various types of business promotion and game lottery activities are in full swing. The small community market is full of visits, and the tourists are dizzy and interested. Looking at a children's paradise and attracting countless children and parents is a happy family day. In the cultural characteristic area, there are many people in the area, such as calligraphy and painting, blowing and playing, and paper cutting and handcrafting. It shows a strong Chinese traditional culture. The people's food is heaven, the food culture area is busy, and the merchants set up the stove to entertain guests. A wide variety of food, everything on the tip of the food world. At 11 o'clock in the afternoon, in the sound of line dance, the grand opening ceremony of the 5th Burwood China Farm was kicked off. 非常高兴，我们今天迎来了第五届中国风。Happy New Year to you, Tio. Ah, 祝大家新年快乐。现在我宣布，我们第五届中国风现在开始提纲。The Tai Chi, Yin and Yang, Gold, Wood, Water, Fire, Earth, this great and Asian Chinese philosophy system. A Chinese culture entered the world, and the world understands Chinese culture. After the entrance ceremony was completed, the national song of Australia and China was played at the venue.
and the mayor of Burwood, Faker, first gave a welcoming speech and represent Wu Yingxia's strategic partner certificate of the chairman of the Australian Culture and Commerce Association. President Hu Yingxia returned to the mayor of the set of the Taiji customers and invited the mayor to join the Taiji team as a consultant. The mayor happily accepted the Taiji frame. Afterwards, dozens of guests, including the representative of the Consulate General of People's Republic China in Sydney, the representative of the Australian Prime Minister, the representative of the Premier of New South Wales, and the representative of the business, delivered a warm speech. A painting and calligraphy artist from Xinjiang, who came from Fa, sent a painting and calligraphy work to the mayor for the government's collection. Later, he sent a 10-meter calligraphy scroll to the Australian Culture and Commerce Association as a commemoration. At the end of the opening ceremony, the most dazzling folk song were heard, and the stage immediately boiled, becoming a sea of joy and a world of dance. Politicians and guests also danced with the music, a total of Latin festival, playing with the people, singing and dancing, fully demonstrated the strong momentum of Australian multicultural Chinese style at the opening ceremony of the China Fang Carnival. After the opening ceremony, the organizing committee specially arranged a high-end business form cocktail party, and many banks, finance, real estate, enterprises, and other businesses signed up for the event. The politicians and businesses, businesses and businesses faced up-to-face -face exchanges, promote the perfect combination of culture and commerce. The song is like fire. The song is shining. The performers of the community literature and art, vigorous and vigorous, all kinds of dances, performers of all ages, from juvenile group performers to old age group, from palace dance to Taiji Chuan special, there is everything. Burwood Council has one of the largest Chinese communities in New South Wales. We're very proud to be partnering with the A. Uh, Australia-China Fund Association uh, here in Burwood Park celebrating, celebrating the Chinese and Asian culture, uh, putting it on show today. Happy New Year, a happy prosperous New Year of the pig. Uh, well done to ACCA uh, and to Burwood Council on this great carnival today. It's wonderful to be here in Burwood today in Burwood Park for the China Fun Fair. I'm so proud to be part of this community, one of the elected representatives, and to be supporting our ever-growing Chinese community. Big congratulations to our dear friend Robin Ho on putting together the most spectacular um, calendar of events here in Bold Park today. We've had such a great morning seeing all the different dance groups and the musical performances. And if you get a chance, please put this in your agenda for next year. You must come to Bold next year for the China Fun Festival. China 联邦政府、地方政府的认可和支持。用市长的话说，中国风嘉年华是一个享誉海内外的活动，用省政府的话说，中国风嘉年华是全省范围内规模最大的活动之一。我们期待中国风嘉年华越办越好，成为中澳
and Chinese artists organized by the Shenyang City, Liaoning Province, completed a high-end evening with the Chinese characteristics of recitation, dance, folk music, and singing. The sound of the hot dance echoed over the Burbank Park for a long time, a visual and auditory feast, which culminated in the dim light of the food merchants. During the performance of the music party, there was also a fun and elegant guessing riddle activity, and there were a large number of prizes, which added to the colorful and strong taste of the party, so that all the people who came to visit the park would never forget. The success of China Farm could not be carried out without the hard work of countless volunteers and active participation of literary enthusiasts. The Chinese style is within five thousand years of civilization. The dream of overseas Chinese and the connotation of fashion, elegance, and ambiguity. China Farm Organizing Community.